Hey guys, on this one here, you're looking at the first CHI head developed for the Cleveland and probably one of the first, if not the first article on them and about testing them. This is an early time of 2002 actually, before they were even called the 3 uh, by CHI, designed and tested here by uh, John at CHI Cylinder Head Innovations down under Australia, where he's seen a potential market for them and you know the everlasting Cleveland world. Sure, there was alloy performance heads before this, SVO, Ford Motorsport, Yates, but nothing that was to suit your factory engine bays um, that, you know, that were out there. And as far as accessories, headers, and common manifolding, all readily available and sold. John here explains um, that there was a great amount of testing R&D that the stock 4V irons were just too big in many places of the port. So reducing sizes in the right places is what he did. Discovering dead areas in the bowl area of the irons, the cylinder side uh, port wall was too far out that really needed to be closed in in a certain section and open out further that's uh, closer to the exhaust port side. Uh, more gradual curve on the short turn radius, etc. There was probably 50 plus times where the head had been on and off the flow bench, literally. Combustion uh, chamber had to be closed up and reshaped to a more modern day uh, style to achieve optimum airflow. Not so much just the compression increase or lower CC volumes of that chamber, more so for the airflow. Anyways, once things were all set in stone with these alloys, off they went on a Cleveland test mule, a cons workshop of PRE, performance race engines, where he'd also offered uh, John his input in early flow testing of these new alloys. So the test was conducted on a comparable basis against the reworked um, iron 4V heads that was ported in areas and had field floor intake ports. And all this is considering, you know, it's for your average Joe Blow tough street combination only. Example, 351 cubic inch deal, pump gas friendly, your 750 double uh, pumper carb, your mild but somewhat wild solid cam, etc. Now, the field for these uh, irons still came in at around uh, 235 cc intake um, uh, runners, while the alloys were more at 215 cc's. Both test comparisons came in at a peak of 525 flywheel horsepower at 6,700 RPMs and the alloys requiring less timing, uh, proving it's a more efficient head. And torque came in a little more for the alloys at 450 full pound over 430-ish for the irons and coming in a little earlier also with a flatter torque curve over the iron units. Now remember, these are uh, horsepower torque figures on a 351 cubic inch deal. And for the alloys, they're straight out of the box um, also over the reworked 4Vs. At the same 6,700 RPM redline, but I bet those 4Vs could have used some more cam and especially more RPM. I'm just saying. Anyways, even though this is the start and early days of this CHI uh, alloy head, John and Con here know that it's a matter of combination applied to really see the potential of this early version. Example, plenty of room to port and future CNC port programs will be, um, will be applied to see figures of 700 plus horsepower potential on the right deal, of course. I must admit, CHI put Cleveland's back on the map not as if they really left or took off somewhere, but definitely offered the Cleveland lovers with better hope in horsepower making streetable builds. And not to mention CHI come a long way after this with its actual 3V unit and 4V alloy versions as well, with the 3V head dominating the engine master's challenge for a number of years straight in its class. And you guys know what I'm about to say next. That's just badass. CHI were no doubt the first to influence others to follow and start producing aftermarket Cleveland street and strip alloy heads, some being from big plays in the game and industry like TFS. Anyway, there you go guys, an early 2002 pre-version of the actual 3V CHI head, which now carry versions to help produce 1000 horsepower plus naturally aspirated small block forwards. Thanks guys.